I recall many years ago I was uh, doing milim and uh, looking for a place to eat, which is one of the things you do in milim. If you try to eat kosher food, it's a little bit more difficult than food with a good hechsher in Eretz Yisrael. I was up north in some uh, some place I would never be of my own free will. And they all told me that there was this super kosher restaurant in this place, and if I just go there, everything will be fine. I go to the super kosher restaurant, and it really, uh, the, the man who was uh, the owner and in charge looked very uh, firm, and his wife looked very firm, and, uh, and uh, so great, I uh, found this restaurant. And then I noticed that this restaurant was both a meat restaurant and a milk restaurant. I admit that I felt a bit odd. I mean, I was thinking about it. I guess I thought it was possible to be a milk restaurant and a, and a meat restaurant, but I, I just didn't really know how, how you pull it off. So what about it? Can you have, a, well, I mean, everybody has a milk restaurant and a meat restaurant in their own home. I mean, people who eat meat and or milk, not together, but eat them in series, so they have that kind of restaurant at home. So what what do you have to do? I mean, what is meat restaurant and a milk restaurant? I mean, could they actually live together in the same in the same place? So the Shulchan Aruch assumes that everybody knows that you can't um, cook the meat and the milk together. That you have to keep separately, separate. But how do you serve the meat and the milk in your house at the same time or in, uh, in series, like first one and then the other? I mean, are there any special, any special regulations involved? So the first thing it says in the Shulchan Aruch and Pechet, Siman 88, Shalola, it's called Shalola Halot Basar Al Shulchan Shochlim Gvina. If you're sitting and eating cheese at a at the table, it's that's the meal, you know. You're eating some kind of a quiche, and uh, then somebody wants to eat a salami sandwich. Somebody else. So what do they do? So the Shulchan says in the title, don't put the meat on the same table as the cheese. And then the Mechaber, the Rabbi <coughs> says, Afilu Besar Chaya V'Oth, he says, not only real, honest-to-goodness meat, but it's basar behema, as we've pointed out, but even the meat of a fowl or wild animals, which are not included, asula loto al shulchan, shochel alav gvina. You can't, I mean, you have to choose. If you're eating milchiks, eat milchiks. you eating fleshiks, you're eating fleshiks. Shelo yavo lochlam yachad, and he says, because it's a, the, the danger is great, if a person uh, sitting at a table for a long time, kind of schmoozing, he might forget that he just ate meat or he just ate cheese and eat the other variety without thinking too much about it. He says, <laughs> But <coughs> if you have a table that you prepare the food on, so that you that you that you cook, you put the cooked food, then you're allowed to eat one or the other, the meat or the milk. So we see that the uh, the uh, the Shulchan Aruch is concerned, uh, even when there is no prohibition, and even when your intention is clearly to eat either meat at this meal or cheese at this meal that the meat and the cheese should not be in close proximity in a way that, that you're about to serve them, like prepared. Like, you know, like they're a, a family and they have children and this child likes this kind of food and that child likes that kind of food. So you might put out uh, milchiks and fleshiks at the same time. This is a problem. A person who's eating the milchiks might inadvertently eat the fleshiks and... Uh, vice versa. And this is clearly stated in the Shulchan Aruch. You can't eat meat and milk at the same table, even if your intention is not to eat 
uh, uh, the other. You can eat the meat, but you're not going to eat the, the cheese. You can eat the cheese, you're not going to eat the meat. Nevertheless, the same table cannot support both types of food while you are uh, while you're eating. Now, there are certain exceptions, and we'll look into that tomorrow.